through eight games. Luka Doncic and the Dallas Mavericks are five and three on this still very young season. On Monday night, they had Kevin Durant and the Brooklyn Nets in town, who are thus far four and six on the season. Durant trying to get his team closer and closer to 500. He drills the fadeaway, not to be outdone by the Don. Drilling a fadeaway of his own. More Luka and KD. Doncic seemingly beating the first quarter buzzer with the three ball. But on the other end, we go. How about Kevin Durant also beating the first quarter buzzer? Second quarter. Doncic just pulling up and drilling that three. When he has it going, he's got it going. 23 first half points for Doncic. He's going to turn the rock over here in the third quarter. Royce O'Neal is going to get it to Durant. 26 points for KD. And then Durant going to find Ben Simmons inside for the jam. Brooklyn up by one. Fourth quarter we go, shall we? You know who's got the rock, and he's showing you that when needed. He's got a wicked jump shot. That patented step back three fade into his left by Doncic, and then this time finding Green for three. And then how about Luka finding Dorian Finney-Smith? Six rebounds, six assists to go along with 36 points for Luka. Mavs up by 10. Here comes Brooklyn. Royce O'Neal knocking down the three. Then there's Cam Thomas with a tray ball of his own. We got ourselves a tight one down the stretch. 5.6 to go. It's Kevin Durant getting fouled on a three-pointer. If he makes these three, we're tied at 96. Durant goes to the line and makes the first. Uh-oh. Durant, normally good at the line. Misses the second, which means he's got to intentionally miss the third. A perfect miss, by the way. O'Neal gets it, tries to pass it back to KD. He turns it over, and just like that, ladies and gentlemen, the Brooklyn Nets lose a tight one on the road by two. Yeah, I'm watching Luka and Kevin Durant go to war, and, you know, KD's getting older. Luka is getting older, but he's aging towards his prime as Kevin Durant's probably about to leave his prime in the next couple years here. I'm looking at uh, the impact that both of these gentlemen have on basketball games, and right now, Luka just looks fresher than KD. Durant looks good coming into this year, but a great Luka and a great Kevin Durant, the tide is slowly starting to turn. Luka is starting to be able to do more um, with, with what he's got than versus Kevin Durant, which I'd argue, you know, Kevin Durant's got a lot of weapons in, in Brooklyn. You know, Joe Harris is the guy that the Nets paid a lot of money to. He has not produced to what his contract has paid him. He doesn't get enough blame, by the way. Ben Simmons is a capable something in this league. I don't know capable of what, but he's capable. Look, he's averaging about 4.6 rebounds, 6 assists. That's something that you can you do something with. You know, the guys like Royce O'Neal can get buckets. Guys like uh, uh, TJ Warren can get you a bucket. Nicholas Cla Claxton can hustle hard. I'm looking around thinking to myself, if Luka were in Brooklyn and Kevin Durant were in Dallas, I believe that the, the, the Brooklyn Nets would still be a better team than the Dallas Mavericks. If Luka and KD swap spots right now and you put Luka in Brooklyn, KD in, in, in Dallas, I believe the, the Nets would be better than the Mavs, which got me to thinking, what does that mean? Does that mean I think Luka's better than Kevin Durant? I'm not sure. I think it's really close. I think Luka is right there around Kevin Durant, Kawhi, and LeBron. And I don't know when I will feel comfortable putting him over that three. He's right there with him, though. That, that's where he's at. Like, when you get past, to me, Giannis was the best in the world. To me, I got Steph in that mix. Joel Embiid's in that mix for me. Jokic is in that mix for me. A couple other guys as well. When I get right past that first tier and I go to the legends, the, the KDs, the LeBrons, and even, even Kawhi will be a legend, I believe, if he can stay healthy. Luka, the young Don, is right there around these guys, and he is close to surpassing a couple of these guys, if not he's already done so.